this Android Studio How To tutorial, I will cover how to set up a virtual Android device that you can run and test your apps on. So you may be wondering what an Android virtual device is, and it's basically a device configuration that is run using the Android emulator. And it works with the emulator so that you can have an, a virtual environment in which you can install and run Android apps. And this is particularly useful if, say, you have like an, um, an iPhone and you don't have an Android device that you can test your app, uh, Android apps on. And I'm going to cover how to create your own Android virtual device in Android Studio. That way, even if you don't have a physical device that you can test it on, you still have this virtual device. So I have Android Studio open over here, and you can see that in the top, corner top part over here it shows this device called the Nexus 5X API 39 and that's one of the devices that I have available uh, you may also have this because usually it comes with um, the installation and download of Android Studio but I'm going to go ahead and create a new device by clicking on this over here which says open AVD manager and it should open up this little dialog over here and now click on this button over here where it says create a virtual device once I do that, you can see I have a bunch of options. I even have different categories, like a virtual device for an Android TV or a watch. Or with an Android tablet, because that is something that I do not have, and I'm going to choose this Nexus 10. So now I'm going to press Next over here. And it takes me to the page where it shows uh, which API level I want to download. And if you need help with uh, figuring out which API level you want, you can check out the documentation from Android developers. API levels, we can go to the SDK platform release notes from Android developers. And then over here, what you should be able to see is a list of different APIs, and you can read more about them over here. But basically, the latest version is usually the best. So at the time of filming this video, uh, Android Q is the latest version. I'm going to go with that API level, which is 29. And I'm going to click Next. Now you can see that I can provide a name for it. So I'm fine at Nexus 10. I'm going to delete this last part over here. And um, the startup orientation I want it to be is portrait. And you can play around with these settings, even go to more advanced settings. But for now, I'm done. So I'm going to click this button over here that says finish. And it's going to create the Android virtual device. So once that's finished running, you should be able to uh, run this on your app, run this on your device. And you can see here that this pops up saying hello world. It will take a while to set up. Um, and then you can begin to use this for testing your Android apps. Additionally, another thing that, that I'd like to note is if you have something that like a default um, device, like the Nexus 10, if you open the AVD manager, you can see here that my Nexus 5X is taking up 3.8 uh, gigabytes of storage, and I don't plan on using this. So to delete it, all you have to do is go to Actions over here, uh, click on this um, drop down, and then choose the Delete option. And I'm going to delete this because I'm not going to be using it. And that's all for this Android Studio How To already. Please consider subscribing to IJ Apps and sharing the channel with friends. That way they too can learn Android app development. Until then, happy developing from